Have you ever wondered how to place an implant on a mandibular ridge that's got like this kind of configuration to it, where it's like real skinny towards the top? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use a round pilot drill to do just that. All right, so this is an example of what I was talking about of the, the ridge shape. You see at the very top of the ridge, there's a little triangle and that can make it hard for you to choose your initial prep site. And so in cases like this, there's a technique I like to use. There's actually two techniques. So this is just an example x-ray. This is not the x-ray for the following patient, but uh, I'd like to show you how I typically manage this type of ridge. So one way is you can use a large round burr and flatten out the entire area, make a platform for yourself. But a less invasive way is actually to just take a small round burr like I'm doing here. This is a, a round pilot burr. And I go right in the middle of the ridge I reflect the lingual, I reflect the buckle. It's really important to have your assistant reflect the lingual portion. And now you're gonna to go to the middle of the ridge and you're gonna take it to about the depth of the, of the burr, right? Uh, actually, in this case, I'm gonna take it a little bit deeper. But if you wanna go deeper than that, it's better to jump up to your pilot, to your regular pilot drill. So you'll see I'm just taking this burr just a little bit deeper. And it's much easier to use this than trying to use the sharp edge of your of your regular pilot drill because that'll just bounce around uh, rather than give you a firm a firm seat. Okay, so that's about as much as I want to drill it with this round burst, and I'm going to jump up to my regular pilot drill. So this is a pilot drill from Neodent, and I particularly like this drill because it's really long and sharp and it's got the markings along the entire drill. So now I just take it to the middle of where the of where I made that uh, that marking with my with my round burr and I take it to about six millimeters of depth. Remember I said that this patient is not the same patient that you saw on the cone beam and so this is uh, I'm prepping it to just about six millimeters because I, I really don't have that much height right here. Now I'm just going sequentially to larger and larger drills. And it's about at this time that I realize here that I don't have an eight millimeter uh, neodent implant. And so I have to switch systems in just a second. I have to switch. And it's okay for me to use the, um, the drills from different kits, but right when you get to your final drill, you wanna make sure, or you know, as you get up to your final last two drills or so, you wanna make sure that you use the drill meant for that system. So I'm switching over now to the other drill kit to make my final preparations because I'm placing a shorter implant here. And I actually just ran out of irrigation on my, on my handpiece, so now we have to just squirt with a monoject syringe. So that's why you see me pausing a little bit. All right, so now my preparations are just about done. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place my implant. This is an eight millimeter implant. I'm just gonna place it with my fingers first. It's, it's got a convenient little finger grip that I just uh, do my initial tightening with. And then once it's, once it's really tight, that plastic part just pops off. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the insertion with my, uh, with my hand driver. So now you see me positioning my hand driver on there and I'm gonna make sure to Submerge that implant all the way till it's about a millimeter uh, below the crest of the ridge. Just reflecting here with my Minnesota so that way you can see a little bit better. I'm just taking that till, till all surfaces of the implant are below bone. So that means that it is gonna be a little taller in the lingual. The bone is gonna be a little bit tall, taller in the lingual than on the buckle. You just have to make sure that won't be a problem for you when you try to take impressions. Hey guys, I just want to let you know that uh, next Tuesday, March 31st, is my birthday and I'm going to be opening up our online implant courses. So if you've been meaning to get into the courses, they're going to be open uh, next Tuesday. Use the coupon code HAPPYBDAY and that way you'll be able to get our flagship courses at their original price of $9.95. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to having you there and uh, yeah, I'll see you inside.